We're at 746 at KNEP. It's time for News Extra today, brought to you by Intralinx. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And we have a trio of guests here today. Kathy Kissel is here from ESU 13, as well as uh, Jareen uh, Chief Eagle and Melissa Morales. And they are, all three of these folks are involved in the uh, Meridian School uh, over at ESU 13. And a lot of people don't, I didn't know about the Meridian School until uh, Kathy called me and said, uh, I'd like to be on your show to talk about our Meridian School prom that's coming up on April 19th. So, uh, Kathy, I guess, first of all, let's, let's just discuss what the Meridian School is at ESU 13. Thanks for having us here, Kevin. We really appreciate it. The Meridian School has been at ESU 13 for many years, uh, over 40 years. It's a school for special needs students. Currently, we have 22 students enrolled there from various districts in the uh, area, and their ages are from 5 to 21. And they have a large variety of disabilities, functioning levels, and so it's a real challenge working with the students, but it's very rewarding too, especially as we see their progress and the things they can do. And some of that brings us to our topic today. The students have been working hard. They've been doing some fundraisers um, to earn money to help put this prom on. They're involved in other aspects of the community. Um, many people know us through the bell choir that um, performs throughout the community during the holiday season and in the spring. Um, but we do a whole lot more than that. So um, I brought some folks with us today who work directly with the students, and they're going to give you a little bit more information about the students, and more specifically the prom. Okay. All right. So let's uh, give it over to Jareen. And Jareen Chief Eagle is uh, the, uh, one of the secondary teachers at the uh, Meridian School. And uh, so 22 students, and, uh, and a lot of times in, in this situation, these, these students are learning... Uh, various things. Some of them are there for a few days, some of them are there for the entire week, right? Explain how that works. Correct, yes. Um, depending on the needs of the students, some students spend part of their week at their home district school, but we have several programs that are not always able to be offered in their home district, such as swimming at the YMCA or job training program, which we have where the students actually go out in the community on job sites. We have them at various work businesses around the community. They have job coaches that go out with them and work with them to help train them in those skills. Um, and we thank all those employers because everyone's been just wonderful in supporting that program. Um, we also this year have an apartment program. ESU 13 has rented an apartment and we have a teacher um, that conducts life skills training within that apartment. So they learn all the things you would do in a normal home. Um, and so these are programs that a lot of home districts can't provide and therefore send their students. Some come two days a week, some come mornings, um, and most of the students do come every day, all, all day, all five days. But Oh, that's great. It's a great program. Now, uh, the prom itself, and we're going to get uh, Melissa in here, that's on April 19th at the Gearing Civic Center, and uh, it'll be from 7 to 10 p.m., and Melissa, the students themselves uh, are working on the prom, getting sponsors, determining what they want, so uh, discuss the what's going on with the prom. Thanks. Um, our kids have been working really hard on making fundraisers, um, going out into the community. We thank the mall because the mall did a great job with us for selling our jar gifts in the jar. Um, we raised all of our money for our prom. The kids were able to choose the disco theme this year. They were able to do choose the DJ. We do have a DJ coming in from Denver, Colorado that's going to do this for us. And we ask all the alumni that if there was anybody that we have missed to please please join us for the dance from 7 to 10. All right, on April 19th, that's a Friday night. And uh, is there a is, is there a dinner with this or just the just the it's dance? It's just the dance. Just the dance. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the students uh, are they dressing up like Mr. Travolta and so they, forth or uh, they can dress up however they want. We do have a lot of girls that do dress into their prom dresses just like normal high school students and um, we will take them out to get the silky shirts for the disco theme and so they are <laughs> able to dress however they find they and we will be taking them um, our girls to do their hair and makeup at Bowen School yeah. hair design again um, that sounds pretty good sounds like yeah. a fun night huh? it is 
Yeah. Kids really enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. So there's uh, uh, 22 students at the school, right? That's correct. And 14 in the upper classes. Mm -hmm. So you got quite a few in the upper classes. Do, do they range downwards all the way to like kindergarten? Apparently so. If you have kids from f five years old, right? Correct. All right. Yes. How many how many kids do you have in the in the in the lower? You have only eight in the lower grades, but how many like in kindergarten, first, second, oh. third grade? I'll answer that. Um, we have two classrooms: a primary classroom and a secondary classroom. Okay. So the younger students are in what we call the primary classroom, and mm -hmm. currently we have eight students in that classroom. Right. And then the other children are in the uh, secondary classroom, and okay. again they go up to age twenty-one. All right. Um, one thing I'd also like to say is we would like to invite all the alumni to our prom. So we've been there a long time, so we have a lot of alumni, and I know a lot of the folks that come really enjoy it. Um, besides the prom, we do other outings and stuff throughout the year. And again, we'd like to thank everyone who supported us in our fundraising efforts because they take, for example, the primary class goes to the zoo. We have uh, a field day at the end of the school year. Sometimes we'll take the um, students out for maybe a special lunch, and that's, again, life skills. So they learn how to you know, place an order, maybe use money, that sort of thing. And all that costs money that, as all school districts know, yeah. there's no money in the budget for that type of thing. So the students and our staff work so very hard in these extra fundraisers. Um, so again, we appreciate everyone who supported us in purchasing those items that they have. We've had raffles. The Gifts in a Jar program, the Monument Mall has been so supportive, and uh, Walmart has been an adopt-a-school partner, but also um, all the folks and the businesses that have helped with our um, job sites for our students, and they usually also end up contributing a lot to our fundraisers. And if anyone's interested in helping us with that, we're always interested in more sponsors, um, or if you'd like to purchase anything um, from our fundraisers, just get hold of the school. And that's at ESU 13, where the Meridian School located there, and the phone number is 635-3696. Okay, 635-3696 if you want to help them out. The Meridian School with their uh, prom, it's April 19th, 7 to 10 p.m. So if you'd like to either help them out through uh, what they do normally every day or with this prom on April 19th from 7 to 10, give them a call at 635-3696. Or if you're an alumni and want to attend, give them a ring. That's kind of what they're looking for, is the alumni to attend as well. The Gearing Civic Center. All right, at the Gearing Civic Center, 7 to 10 p.m., April 9th. All right. 19th. Oh, April 19th. <laughs> I said April 9th. April 19th. It's a Friday night. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.